If your configuration is set wrong on the PLC, you'll have um, configuration errors and a fault will be in the uh, fault table. We'll go and take a look and see what that looks like. In this case, I purposely set up the configuration for the PLC that I'm using to the wrong PLC. Up here I have IC200, UD, UDD110, 120, 120, or 212. And I went and tried to download that and I got this error message here. Okay, tells me uh, configuration fault exists. See the fault tables. Now also if I look down here at the little status line on the, for the programmer, I see the uh, little F on the PLC. So you can click that. You can click on that and it will bring up your fault table. Give it a chance, let it view, and you see right there system configuration mismatch. So what you'll want to do now is clear the controller fault table. Okay? So we'll clear that. Yes, I am sure. Okay? So it's cleared. Now if you look down here, the icon on the PLC has changed to an X, which means its configuration and its logic does not match what we have up here. Okay? Now, what you need to do is come up here to your main rack. Okay? Right click on your CPU and select replace module. Now in my case I have a UDR005 connected here. Uh, for the class, the students in the class, you'll be using the IC200 UDR001. That's the class PLC. But I'm going to go ahead and select the UDR005. Hit OK. Yes, I realize that cannot be undone. Yes, I understand. And that comes with all the information. Now, make sure your passwords are disabled. Okay. And then you can go ahead and close that tab. Now we'll go ahead and try and re-download everything. Download and start it to build our process. Go through there. Now make sure that, har that hardware configuration is checked so that you will rewrite the bad configuration. Okay. And it's working on it. Okay. Now if I look down here, I've got a happy PLC. Okay, I can click that again and bring up the status. Another way to get the status is, is to come to Online Commands, select Clear, and it says, what do you want to clear? Okay, you can clear the controller fault table, I.O. fault table, whatever you have out there. Okay, and it's just another way of clearing it. Before, but it unfortunately does not show you what you're clearing or what your faults are. That's why I like coming down here, clicking on the PLC, pop up the fault viewer table, and let it update. Give it a moment. Okay, now everything's all good to go.